for the love of the game. Murphy High School, Spring Hill College in Mobile, Mobile City League. And while I served in the uh, United States Army for two years, I was organizing a company team in Mannheim, Germany. When a referee told the coach at the European Command League in Heidelberg, you need to go get that guy. He did, and I traveled all over Germany, officiating ball in the European Command League. And when I got back and was discharged, I said, I owe something to him. I'm going to start refereeing. And I did, and I love it. My most memorable moments include uh, an opportunity to work for the greatest coach in basketball, and that's John Wooden. I had seven of his games during that long winning streak because when I got my Final Four assignments, they sent me out west a lot, and so I saw him quite a bit there. And being the number one official in 1977, I was rated the highest, and I worked the championship game between Marquette and North Carolina. So those kind of highlight. And an outstanding game, I had uh, UCLA and Deaton, Dayton in triple overtime in 1975, and that was, that was an exciting game. The most part uh, on my gratification is that when I walk off the courts and I feel like I've done a good job, I please myself, not the coaches, not the players. I wanted to be the best in Mobile, and I was. I wanted to be the best in the state, and I was. And I was the best in the Southeastern Conference because I worked at it, I studied it, and I just hustled, hustled, hustled. You can't not do that in a two-man crew. You have to do a lot of that. So I always felt good when I walked off the court, and there was a very few times that I was not happy. The man that had the most influence on me was Cliff Harper who was the director of the Alabama High School Athletic Association. I was assigned to work a district tournament in little old Frisco City, along with Murray Frederick, and the other two guys were paired off with Frank Green and Buck Jones, father-in-law, son-in-law combination. At that particular game, after Murray and I had finished, I was asked to work in Buck's place with Frank a double header, and it was easy because it was a small gym and I was ready to go. I was up there to work the tournament. When I finished the game, I got in the car and Murray Frederick said to me, Reggie, I've got some great news. You're going to the state tournament next week. I said, oh, are you the one that makes the assignments? He said, no. Mr. Harper drove down here from Montgomery to see Frank Green, but he wanted to know who you were. Later, Mr. Harper became my supervisor in the Southeastern Conference and so he had so much to do with my success and my ability to be uh, in so many games, so many places. The importance of my family is and I, I've been blessed. I have a wonderful family, four sons and a daughter. And I had a wife that was my number one supporter. We've been married for 59 years. She passed away in 09. But I had their support. I traveled so much when I got into the five conferences that I worked in, and uh, she missed a lot of Christmas parties. I got home one, one time from Alabama, Virginia Tech in Blacksburg. I got home on Christmas Eve, and she was a little upset. <laughs> I said, honey, don't worry. I'm going to take you to Sugar Bowl right after the uh, Christmas holidays. And so I, I had the wonderful support. I advise to any, uh, anybody that's interested and love the game of basketball as I did, that they study the game, study the rules, and if possible, go to some of these camps and clinics that they have. I didn't have that benefit. I was just lucky that Mr. Harper spotted me when he did. And uh, so I would say to them, have a good understanding and a good feel for the game, and to always remember, people didn't buy a ticket to come see you referee. They came to see the players. Conduct yourself professionally. Stand upright when you're at a timeout. And do not get in conversations with coaches. And uh, make it very professional all the way through. And you'll have a lot of success. My vote in this Hall of Fame is, is remarkable at my age. I'm 91 years of age. I've been in the uh, Mobile Sports Hall of Fame, the Little League Hall of Fame, Spring Hill College Hall of Fame, 
my high school Hall of Fame at Murphy, fast pitch softball Hall of Fame. But this one is special because I did it for so long. And, uh, and I think I was very successful with it. I know that I was because I was selected by the State Department to go over in Germany, Spain, and Turkey to put on basketball clinics for Air Force personnel. I was selected for the Pan Am Games and would have gone with Coach Knight uh, to Puerto Rico. I was selected to do the Louisiana, Texas Senior College All-Star Game. And that was a, that was a coup if I ever heard of one. A guy from Alabama going over to work that game. But I had so many honors and uh, so I just thank the committee and uh, I look forward to the induction night. And again, my many thanks and appreciation for the honor that I'm bestowed on today. Thank you.